Hello everybody, Raven Knight here, coming at you with another how to build video, and oh boy, I have been asked repeatedly and ad nauseum to do this video. I have been asked over and over and over again to talk about how to build Adamar, the second of Holden Cross from the first mission of the campaign. For those who don't remember, when Holden Cross was challenging Dobbany to a trial by combat and Dobbany declines, Holden offers an alternative by saying, then you can fight my second, and that second in command was Adamar. Dominate! Dominate! Show yourself! These warriors don't have to die. Trial by combat, right now. What? Fight you? That's not a trial, that's an execution. Then fight my second. You! You will be my second! All right, then. If I refused, there would be a slaughter. A lot of people really like Adamar's build and his design apparently, so I've been asked over and over again to do a how to build Adamar. So I went back to the first mission of the campaign, I looked over Adamar's design, I studied it, I jotted down notes, and now I have taken the time to build Adamar, and I've also given him some executions, emotes, and signatures, and all that that I think will fit him. So if you want to know how to build Adamar for your own roster, now you know how. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about how you'll build Holden second. Adamar. Let's start with the helm. You're going to want the Loran helm, the Arcturus chest, and the Arcturus arms. Pretty easy stuff. Like I said, Lauren Helm, Arcturus Chest, Arcturus Arms. You get these very early on, so you should have no problem getting these if you don't have them already. For the sword, you want the Magnus Blade, the Magnus Hilt, and the Magnus Guard. Pretty easy stuff as well. Those are also gotten pretty early on. So to repeat, Loran Helm, Arcturus Chest, Arcturus Arms, Magnus Blade, Magnus Hilt, and Magnus Guard. That's all you need to build the basic armor and weapon set. Now, for the rest, for traits, you need to be alternate alternate two because um, Adamar is a male. I guess you could make female if you wanted, but we need to go male. Skin color is not going to matter. You're not going to be able to see his skin color anyway. No ornament is required. For material, you need the black iron material. The tar is way too dark. It is way too dark and shiny for what we're looking for. Plus, the tar material didn't exist at the time the campaign was made. So that's obviously not the one we want. We want the black iron material. Pretty easy to get. You get that at Reputation 7, level 20. So level up your Warden past Reputation 7, level 20, and you'll get this material. Now, for the paint patterns. For the paint pattern, you're going to want the triangle paint pattern for the helm. Yes, you want the triangle paint pattern. This one's easy to get. You get it at level 14. That's it. Pretty easy. And for your symbol, nothing. For embossing, you want the Skull 2 embossing. Now, this one's harder to get. You get this at Reputation 24, level 20. But you need to get this embossing in order to create this helmet effect that you're seeing right now. You need Skull 2, which has gotten at Reputation 24, level 20, and the paint pattern triangle. You need this to get what you want for Adamar. All right? Okay. For the left shoulder... You want the triangle paint pattern again, which you get at level 14. No symbol, but the Paisley 2 embossing, which you get at Reputation 18, level 20. You need Paisley 2 embossing and the triangle paint pattern at level 14. And that is for the left shoulder. For the right shoulder, no paint pattern, but for the symbol, you want the spiked skull symbol, which you get at Reputation 22, level 4. Again, that will take some time to get, but get him past Reputation 2, Level 4, and you will have the Spike Skull symbol, no embossing required. All right, so now we know how to make the right, left, right and left shoulder as well as the helmet. Let's go down to the back. For the back, you want the Banner 2 paint pattern, which you get at Reputation 7, Level 2. The Banner 2 paint pattern. And for the symbol, you want the Blackstone symbol. 
And you get that by completing the night story on easy mode. So pretty simple. Go to the campaign, play the easy mode, and finish up the night story, which is pretty easy to do. Eh, that's why it's the easy mode. And you'll get this symbol. You'll just slap that on his back and you're good to go. No embossing. And then for standards. Pretty easy. You want the bold diagonals paint pattern, which you get at Reputation 2, level 6. No need for a symbol. No need for an embossing. Just the bold diagonals, which you get at Reputation 2, level 6. Okay, and that is how you get all the pieces and parts you need. And finally, for his paint pattern, for the color scheme, you need the Blackstone Elite. Yes, you need Blackstone Elite for his color scheme, and you get that by scavenging the battlefield during the For Honor Games Metal Trials event. That is how you get this one, and it is the only paint pattern that will work well with him. If you can find another one that gets you close to the Blackstone Legion look, that is what you're going to want to get. But Blackstone Elite is going to be your best bet here, so make sure you have that. Now, normally, I would tell you alternatives you could do, but really, since we're building a story character, we have to do it as close to the story as possible. And this took me a long time to really watch Adamar and get an idea of what all he had, so... Um, this is just what I'm going to have to insist you all get. If you can find alternatives, uh, do let me know in the comments, but otherwise this is what you're going to have to do to build him. Now that is how you build Adamar as he appears in the story, but the rest of this was kind of my own uh, creation. So you can take this as you see it and do what you want with it, but here's what I decided to give him for feats. For feats, I gave him body count. Killing soldiers grants you health and stamina. Even though we know that Adamar loses to the uh, Lord Warden, at the very least, we know he was skilled enough to be able to take on a lot of soldiers, so I figured body count would be a good one. Another ex another one could be come at me, because uh, he gets more XP, but has lower defense, and I feel like that happened with him when he was going up against the Lord Warden. You can I give him Inspire, which is you know pretty standard. He inspires people. He's the second in command, and even the Lord Warden acknowledged he was skilled. Uh, I would also give him Thrilling Comeback, because there's a moment during the fight where I feel like he almost gets a second wind, but other than that, Inspire's the best one. Second wind is a good one. Again, like I said, getting his second win. Um, or you can give him takedown because there are moments where I feel like he does throw you a little easily. And plus, if you play the campaign, you know how easy it is to throw people around. So second wind or takedown will work. And then finally, for his last feat, I would give him, honestly, Stalwart Banner or Morale Booster. I wouldn't give him the Catapult just because we don't see him use this, but still. Either way, I would give him Stalwart Banner or uh, Morale Booster. All right. All right, pretty easy with the feats, but honestly, you could give him whatever you wanted. For executions, I gave him Hilt Strike. And the Backhand Strike, because both of those are default warden executions, which I think will fit him since he's a default warden. I gave him the Blackstone Bash, because he is a Blackstone Warden, and I thought that just made sense to give him a Blackstone Execution. And I gave him Guts Then Chop, which is another one of the Warden default executions, and one time when I was playing the game, when I was playing the game mode on Realistic, uh, I got killed by him, and I think he did this execution to me, so I felt like this was a good one to give him. So you want the Hilt Strike, Backhand Strike, Blackstone Bash, and Guts Then Chop. Of course, you can give him whatever executions you feel like, there's nothing stopping you, but I thought these would be the best ones. All right, for emotes, I gave him sobbing uncontrollably because he died in the very first mission. Kind of sucks. And I lost because he died in the very first mission of the story mode. I felt like that just fits him because he lost. For combat, I gave him shouldered blade because he did that when fighting the Lord Warden. He shouldered his blade and then prepared to fight. And I gave him twirl because it's just cool. I think that's a cool thing for him to do, right? You could also give him what's your problem. Because why do people... I felt like I should give him that personally because everyone keeps asking me to do this video. Everyone's been asking me to talk about Adamar. And I'm like, oh, dude, seriously, what's your problem? <laughs> anyway, for signature, I gave him Knuckle Crack. I felt like Knuckle Crack would be the right one to give him because he tries to act intimidating and look tough and act powerful. So I thought that that one would work well for him. And for effects, nothing. I gave him no effects because honestly, Adamar just feels fine the way he is. But that is how you build Adamar, holding second during the first mission of the campaign, who ended up fighting and dying to the Lord Warden. I have no idea why so many people wanted me to do a how to build on him, but it took me some time and I finally managed to do it. I hope you guys liked it, and if you're planning on making Adamar for your team, for your roster, feel free. Absolutely. I'd love to hear y'all's uh, stories for Adamar and what he might have done if he'd lived, and... Uh, who he was before he fought the Lord Warden. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care.